Hey everybody, it's Mr. Chris at the Hudson Area Library. I just wanted to do a short video for the latest uh, take and make activity that we've got this week at the library. So these are all free uh, upstairs in the children's area at the children's desk. There's a box of art activities and then some take home STEM activities. So I just wanted to explain this one a little bit. It's got a direction sheet in it, but I thought if you have any uh, issues, I'd kind of show you how it works. So what you're going to make is enclosed in here. So you're going to have a plastic bottle, a balloon, a piece of a sponge, a piece of copper wire, and then two little flat pieces of tin foil, and then your instruction sheets. So um, what you're going to make here is something to help you see the unseen. As a lot of you know, that's kind of some of my favorite science stuff. So if any of you have used a, a compass, a compass helps you see the magnetic fields on the earth that we can't see with our eyes. So that points you to, towards magnetic north. That's how a compass works. So it's reading the magnet, magnetic field being generated and showing you which way is north. This one is gonna show you you're making an electromagnetic detector. So uh, that's a fancy way of saying when you uh, have walked across the floor in the winter and you get like a static charge and you get a shock, you know, you touch the light switch or whatnot, you've built up a static charge and you're not aware of it. You don't see it until there's that little arc if you see it when you go to flip the light switch or pick up your book or whatnot. So we're going to make a little detector to kind of see that process happening. So the copper wire I already bent for you. So you're going to want to have it where the fish hook kind of part goes down into the bottle and the curled, the curved top, coiled top, is going to be out the top. So in the middle of that, to keep it from falling in the bottle, you're going to wrap it with this little piece of sponge that we put in there, and then you're going to slide the whole thing down into the bottle like that. So before we do that, we're going to want to make uh, our two flat pieces of tin foil hooked onto that fish hook part. So when you pull them out of the bag, just make sure they're nice and flat you can flatten them again on your table with your thumb. You just don't want to have any bend to them if you can. So we're going to hook those onto the wire like so. Try to keep them flat, which will help with our experiment. And they're kind of like that. So we're going to go back to what we did. So I kind of pre-cut all these for you and measured the tin foil so it'll slide in the neck of the bottle there. So there we go. So if you can see that, so it'll kind of look like that when you get it going. And then uh, you're going to make your static charge with a balloon. So I'll try to do this really quick here. Now I just got a haircut, so this may not work really well. But you can rub it on your hair. You can rub it on a blanket. You can rub it on your shirt. You're trying to get a static charge. So if Teddy wants to drop down here and look at the tin foil, we're going to see if you bring the balloon close to yeah, do you see them move there a little bit? So the more charge you get on the balloon, you don't want to make contact with the copper wire. You just want to bring it down close. But as you bring it down close, the static charge you put into the balloon is transferring to the coil wire, running down the wire, and it's making the tinfoil pieces push away from each other because they have a, a charge in the wire now. So again, you can experiment with what you, what you rub that on. Hair works good, a shirt, a fuzzy blanket, things like that. But hopefully uh, that detector will work for you. You'll see it. And then you got kind of the sheets that explain how NASA uses uh, detectors because they're on spacecraft. This is the New Horizons spacecraft that went out to Pluto. And it had sensors just like this to detect the charged particles in the atmosphere, in the environment around Pluto when it flew past Jupiter, things like that. And you're making a little charge detector so you'll be able to be aware of uh, uh, those charges when you're inducing them with the balloons. So that's the little take and make activity for this week. I hope you enjoy it and we'll see you now with another video soon. Thanks.